Hi, I'm Grace Hughes. In July of 2009, my husband Kevin and I took a bicycling trip through some wee little towns of Scotland. But it was more than just biking. We took trains, planes, buses, and we sailed back home on the Queen Mary 2. This is a 17-part video of that trip. This second day of biking, we had to get to Loch Katrin by 10 a.m. because the boat that took us across the lake left at 10.30. We took our bikes on the boat and then rode them 13 miles back to where we'd gotten on. Then we rode back to Calendar, taking a different route home. I cannot describe how much and how hard it rained on that bike ride around the lock. My very first time biking in the rain, up and down very, very steep hills. Here's our very first lock. It's uh, Monday morning, second day of biking. We got 25 minutes to get to the place where we're going to take the Scott, Ferry. Sir Walter Scott Ferry. We gotta hurry. Here we are in the Sir Walter Scott. We made it. I don't know. So you can, you're only allowed to have 10 hot chocolates with brandy in them. So I'll have 10 this morning. And then we dirt, we're gonna ride our bikes back over along that shore, I think. That's the, that's the island of Helen. Is there any Helen? Ellen. Or Walter Scott wrote about right there, that island. And there's the steam engine down there. It's very warm. And this is down in this little cabin area. And it, the neat thing about it is here's the porthole. And just the fact that this is, we're here on lake level, lock level. There's Kevin taking a picture. This is the downstairs part. Nobody's here, obviously. Except I guess you could bring your children down and they can watch a video. <laughs> Plus it's just so cool to be in the boat, not biking, just watching. This is my favorite picture that Kevin took of Loch Katrin. This guy, his wife, their two little kids, one of them was on a tandem bike, the other one was in a carrier, one of the many bikes who left us in the dust. And he says that's Loch Lomond, which is 10 miles to the north of us. We're not going to get there. Coming up to strong for years. There's all the bikes. Not that many. There's a lot of bikes. I love my bike. There's all the people getting their bikes off the boat. There's the lovely Sir Walter Scott. And we're gonna head, be heading up, 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 somewhere over there. And then we'll be headed back from whence we came. Okay, we got off the uh, Sir Walter Scott and we had to go up a very big, one of many big hills. Look how spectacular it is. I just, since I'm walking my bike anyway, I wonder, I mean, there's just ferns everywhere. They're just all along the side of the road. Um, there's a sign, cyclists beware, um, sharp bends and steep hills and my bike just wouldn't go up the hill anymore, so now I'm walking. Can't even see Kevin, he's beating me. Over there, as you see, there is where we got off the ship. And it certainly does seem like, I mean, we went all the way up there and came around here, and it sure does seem like we should have already gotten there by now. Well, that's pretty now, isn't it? You can kind of see the wash, rushing water down there. Kind of, but not really. It's so loud. Ah, there it is. Wow. And that is the water source for Glasgow. How about that? Here, what are these? I don't know what they are. Shaggy cattle, says Kevin. It's raining now. Yes, it is. We're just at the Anchor's Rest, which is a lovely little cafe here. It's up the stairs. I didn't get a video of it. It's up there. It was very lovely. We had a lovely cheese sandwich with pickle, which is kind of like chutney. And it's all sunny here, as you can see. And we just, it took us an hour and a half to get back. It was about 13 miles. And it started to rain really, really hard. <laughs> and I just got very waterlogged right now. And now we're going to go in the gift shop. Here's the, um, the restaurant. Anchor's Rest. Anchor's Rest. And there's a lot more people here. Lots more tourists. Tour buses. And here it is. We survived. Yes, we did. 
We've come on this road bike path with big rocks. And here's Loch Vanacker. And here's some men out on their boat fishing. It's hard to get them. There they are. It was raining so much and these people were there setting up their camp. This is a very, very wet glue, glue, <laughs> a very, very wet view of Loch Vanacker. We are about less than three miles from calendar. Here, videotape me, honey. This is me with, can you see my glasses with the raindrops? And that's the problem with... I was saying something about the problem of wearing your glasses in the rain, but anyway, here's some great shots of those lovely Scottish cows. Can you hear them eating? You can't see their eyes. <laughs> How do they see? They looked up at me. But, hey cow, there's an eye. There's an eye right there. Hey cow! Hey cow! Go, 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 go! Hey cow! There's one eye. Okay, here's the lovely home. And here is a, here's the guinea fowl. There are the chickens. And there, I guess, are the shorn sheep. There's the unshorn sheep. Or it could be a cow for all I know. This was such an idyllic little spot on our relatively flat ride back to Calendar. It was raining a little bit, but nothing like the torrential downpour when, we, when I was struggling up those hills around Loch Katrin. We got back into Calendar, clouds rolling in, rain started again. It did not matter at all. We found a lovely little pub where I had a, another pear cider. Kevin had a large frosty cider. We had finished our second arduous but oh so lovely day of cycling.